keep B on one side of the equal sign. Okay. And we're going to keep everything else to the other side of the equal sign. So 3 is already on that side, so we don't need to change anything. But because this negative 1 is on this side of the equal sign, we want to bring it over to the other side of the equal sign. So it becomes positive 1. So our B value is equal to 3 plus 1. So our B value is equal to 4. So now, how do we put all this together? Well, we have all this, and now we, our equation here that we started at y is equal to 1x, and we don't need to put the 1, because we know that any time we just put the variable, the letter, it represents 1 of that letter. Plus b, what did we get as our b value? Well, we got our b value to be 4. So instead of b, we're going to put in 4. So let's remove all this. So we know one equation, and that is this equation right here. Now we're looking at our next equation, which is this one. So we have our equation 1, which is given in our point. Step 1 asked us to find the slope of the shortest distance from the point to that line, which is perpendicular. We are now asked to find, step two says, write an equation of this line. And that is this equation here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to solve, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to find how long is this point. In order to do that, we need to find this point. And that point coincides to being a point of intersection. To do this, if you're, not, if you're not given a grid to graph it, what you do is you find, to find the point of intersection, you solve for the linear system. So we're going to solve for the two equations that we're given. And we're given one equation, which is y is equal to negative x plus 5. Or, if we're looking at the, um, the original equation, we could be looking at the original equation from our question, which was x plus y minus 5 equals 0. That is our, now let's erase this here, that is our equation number 1. Our equation number 2 is y equals x plus 4. So to solve for a linear system, when you have the two actual lines to solve. What you're trying to do is trying to find the point of intersection. We are trying to find this point. So step number three, to find we, to the next point, we're trying to find our point of intersection. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to solve for the two equations. And what I like to use, because I've written it in the form of y is equal to mx plus b format, I like to solve by substitution. By solving by substitution, well, I've already isolated for y, so instead of y, I'm going to iso I'm going to substitute my equation 2 into my equation 1. So instead of this y, I'm going to put in the value of what this y is, and that y is x plus 4. So, let's erase some of this. And we have x plus y minus 5 equals 0. In the place of y, we said we are going to substitute equation number 2. So instead of y, we have x plus, instead of this y, I'm going to put in x plus 4. And then continue my equation. Minus 5 equals 0. Let's get rid of this letter here and put the letter over there. So now what we're trying to do here is we have just one unknown, and that's our x, and we're going to help us find the x value of our new point. So we have x plus, and because it's addition outside of the brackets, we can actually just remove these brackets. I put these brackets in. Anytime you substitute, I like to just put brackets around just the letter. And get into the habit of this. Anytime you substitute, and this is a hint for... Um, for any type of math course. Whenever you're substituting into one of the letters an actual value, put brackets around only the letter. Keep the sign outside. 
put brackets around just the letter and substitute the value into just the set of brackets. And then work your way that way. And that will help you um, I pretty much work with positives and, and negatives. So we've removed our brackets. So now what we want to do is isolate my x's and put all my known values to the other side. So we have x plus x on this side of the equal sign. On this side of the equal sign, we're going to bring everything else over because we want our unknown values on one side, our known values on the other. So we're going to bring, bring this positive 4 over to the other side, so it becomes negative 4. We're going to bring this negative 5 over and it becomes positive 5. So if we add these here, now if we try to simplify, x plus x will give me 2x equals negative 4 plus 5 will give me positive 1. We want, to iso we want to isolate for x. We don't want to find 2x. We want to find just x. So to get rid of this number, we divide this side by whatever that number is in front of x. So, and, and this is another tip in terms of algebra. When you're trying to isolate the letter, you divide the number, or you divide this term, when you isolate the, for the letter, by whatever number is in front of that letter. So we want to isolate the 2, so we divide the 2's. 2 divided by 2 will leave me with just the 1, or the 1x. But what, remember in math, what I do to one side of the equal sign, I must do to the other side. And if I divide this side by 2, I'm going to divide that side by 2. So our value of x is equal to a half, or x is equal to 0 0.5. So we found our x value, so we know our new point is at somewhere at 0 0.5. We are trying to find our y value. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute now this x value into any one of our original equations. And so we have the original equation here, x plus y minus 5 equals 0. Or we had the equation y is equal to um, x plus 4. That was our equation 2 that we had. So what we're going to do is, I'm, I like to use the equation that's already been shipped because it's already been isolated for y. So again, we put brackets around the x. In the place of x, I'm going to put in 0 0.5. Okay, let me just extend these brackets. So 0 0.5. 0 0.5 plus 4 will give me a y value of 4.5. So now we know what, what our points are of this point here, and that is at 0 0.5 and at 4.5.